What is going on, guys? We're back with a brand new video, and today we are doing SmackDown review. The SmackDown before WrestleMania. There you go. I can't wait. They start off the show with the day one. Day one ish. Day down since. Usos. They come out just talking about how after WrestleMania, they still gonna be the ones. Holding up the belts with Roman Reigns. The uh, Sammy and KO come out. Of course, they're partners at WrestleMania. Uh, and they talk about how they will win the belts at WrestleMania. Kind of just getting in a heated moment. Sammy and KO just talking crap. Uh, Usos say, uh, tell them like to shut up and shut them up, basically. And yes, that is what happened there in that segment they just walked out of the ring the Usos did and yeah next thing that happened uh, as the Usos were walking up the ramp the Street Profits come out you hear the Street Profits music hit and um, Street Profits walk out and they kind of just do a little stare down because you know the rivalry that happened uh, at Money in the Bank and all that. Um, and then it was the Fatal 4-Way match. It was Montez Ford of the Street Profits versus Chad Gable of Adderfoot Academy versus Eric of the Viking Raiders versus Ricochet. So Montez Ford versus Chad Gable versus Eric versus Ricochet. Uh, Montez Ford hits a frog splash off the top rope um and ricochet um hits a 450 to steal the win after montez hit the frog splash so it was like a double move onto chad gable uh for ricochet to pick up the victory um and then it was the bloodline backstage they kind of just like roman it was uh the Usos, and it was the wise man, Paul Heyman, over there. Uh, they were basically just sitting down, basically, getting ready for their interview. Well, it's not interview. Kind of like their interaction with Cody. Later in the night, they were getting ready for that. They kind of just sit down, chillax, probably watch a little TV or something. Um, and then it was Charlotte Flair and Rhea Ripley, kind of just their, like, rivalry video, basically. A lot of those happened tonight. There was a Cody one, I know, and, um, yeah, uh, basically just what's going on in their rivalry, and, yeah, that's what happened there, and then it was the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal, um, in the end, it was the almighty Bobby Nasty. I have a sign that says Bobby Nasty. That's going to be going up in my wrestling room probably. And, uh, yeah, I'm making a wrestling room. Uh, we got some shelves over right back over there. Uh, I got to put up and I can put, like, a lot of my basics and stuff on there. I'm going to have a Roman basic holding up the titles even though he's going to lose at WrestleMania. It's a historic run. I love Roman, but I also hate the, his guts. I hate him so much. Um, but, yes, that is what I will do there. And I'm going to have, like, posters, and I'm going to have TV, and I'm going to move the t this uh, setup, and I'm going to make a backstage setup back there in my old room. And, yeah, it'll be, like, TV. We can watch a lot of TV in there. We can do whatever we want. Sorry for the background noise in this video, if y'all can hear that. Um, my mom was cooking some bacon, I'm pretty sure it was earlier. And she cooked it too much, and it started to burn. So we got to cool the house down a little bit so that the uh, noise won't hit. But during the Memorial Battle Royal that I was saying, Bobby Lashley picks up the victory. But during the match, it was kind of like a little glitch. And I know fans spotted Bray Wyatt um, at the airport this weekend. So maybe it was Bray Wyatt, like him coming back. Because, you know, they were supposed to have a rivalry match at WrestleMania. 
And then it was a uh, triple threat match. It was Raquel Rodriguez versus Sonya Deville versus Natalia. Um, Raquel Rodriguez uh, picks up the victory with a Tahana bomb, which I think it might be her finisher onto Sonya Deville uh, to pick up the victory. And then, um, yeah, Liv Morgan and her just started cheering in the ring. Got excited for WrestleMania match, the Fatal 4-Way. Prediction video will come out later today. Can't wait. Y'all know how it is. I can't wait for WrestleMania Night 1. Maybe my dad can come and watch it with me. I'll have to ask. But, uh, yeah, it was that. And then it was Rey Mysterio backstage. Uh, Rey was just walking in and... Well, he was, like, sitting at his locker room, and, um, uh, Legato Del Fantasma walk in, which is, uh, shoot, I forgot his name. Starts with an S, doesn't it? Shoot, he's in here. I just don't know where. Uh, Escobar, 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 um, Santina Escobar or something? Santona, I don't know. Uh, Escobar did, <laughs> walks in. And, uh, Lingada Del Fantasma just says, I just want you to know if the Judgment Day, um, pull one of their number games at WrestleMania, we got your back and we're coming to take care of them. And, yeah, that's basically what happened. And they formed the Lingado World Order. <laughs> they put some LWO shirts on. And then it was Sheamus and Drew McIntyre versus Imperial, Ludwig Kaiser, and Giovanni Vinci. Of course, it'll be Sheamus versus Drew McIntyre versus Gunther at WrestleMania um, for the Intercontinental World Champion. As you guys know, I can't wait for that match. Uh, predictions will be coming out later for that match and all of the matches for the WrestleMania Night 1 and Night 2. I'm going to do it like two separate things. I'm going to edit it though, so it'll be all in the same video just so I don't make y'all wait. But, um, Sheamus and Drew McIntyre hit a bro and a Claymore kick to pin Imperium at the same time. Um, and then, they basically just have, like, a stare down. And, uh, Gunther was watching backstage as Imperium got beat. And, uh, yeah, it was Cody Rhodes. He comes out, talks to the fans. There's Cody talking to the fans. And then Roman tells Cody to acknowledge him uh, after Roman comes out. Uh, he says, acknowledge me. I'm going to keep this Roman attire until WrestleMania just in case we see him tonight on night one. I'm going to put him by the uh, the commentators near the, the things. But uh, yeah, I'll set him up right here just so we know who but we all know who we're going to be acknowledging. Whoa! <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I got that. Let's go. Let's go. I can't wait. I can't wait to film the prediction video. And then it was the WWE Hall of Fame. Uh, they started off with Stacey Keebler being inducted by Mick Foley. And then it was, um, Ric Flair or... Somebody to induct the Great Muda, which I think is awesome. I love the Great Muda. I watched uh, his match with Sting and Darby a few uh, months ago, which was pretty cool. And then um, I think Scott Steiner and somebody else uh, introduced Rey Mysterio into the WWE Hall of Fame 2023, Class of 2023. I can't wait to see the match at WrestleMania with him and Dominic Mysterio. During Ray was getting inducted after Ray had come out, Dominic Mysterio, Rhea Ripley, and um, Damian Priest all walked out. It was like you could see the tears in Ray's face. I don't know if that was scripted or not. <laughs> Probably was, though. But, yes, thank you guys for watching. This has been the WWE Friday Night Smackdown and um, Hall of Fame. Uh, video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see y'all with my predictions later today. Thank you.